one of the biggest milestones for us is to show and prove that the electric driven car can win one of the toughest races and the longest races in motorsport, the Rally Dakar. To be honest, when I first heard about going into the desert, I said, wow, that's something completely new for us. With the design phase and the concept, we started around June, August 2020. We had to really start from scratch, except with our partner uh, QMS, who had already a lot of success in the Dakar, but with the new project, it's something completely different. There was no real regulation existing for a new uh, fully electric driven concept car like, like we have. With ASO and also FIA had to define the regulations. Everything what you develop, you have to really think in your head, will this last, will this be possible? I mean, in the past we did our 24 hour car for Le Mans, which had to last for 24 hours, but now we have to have a car which basically has to last 14 days in the desert. All our departments are involved, from the aero development, the chassis, suspension, everyone, engine, the electric department, our MGU, battery development. So basically the whole uh, crew from whole Audi Sport, everybody is involved in the complete design process. Weight is always a topic, especially when you have the battery or with our concept, you have the three MGUs in the car, two to drive the car and one for the generator to charge the battery at the end. And then we also have our combustion engine. But all these parts are developed for road racing and their weight is always a topic. So these are all parts which are already designed, let's say, to be on the minimum weight what we can achieve. We learn so much at the moment in this project and this is why we have to collect now a lot of data first to see if we developed in the, in the correct direction. We really have uh, some very experienced drivers in, in our lineup. They are also very important in the development phase. How you drive the car, how you have to feel in the car, especially now in the testing phase, but already before. Then we do the next step and analyze the data in, in test to see where we can go quicker or where we can get faster with the car to, to do also some improvements in terms of performance. We are able to really have the latest and greatest parts, let's say from efficiency, from technology in the car and really can show what we are able to do. And at the end, when you see the car, just how it looks, it's, it's really amazing. And uh, we are really looking forward to get the car into the desert finally, and hopefully be successful and be on the top step at the end at one stage at the Rally Dakar.